Today I'm doing a video on decluttering, but also what in our wardrobes make our outfits and our clothes and us look cheap. And boy, have I got some humdingers as I go through my wardrobe. I really, really have. I'm going to hold those up till the end. So keep watching for the really bad. So this video is going to go from okay to oh my goodness, really, really, why did you buy that? Pilling on clothes. You might have had things that hanging around. You like it. You liked it when you bought it. You've worn it a lot. You love the item, but it's just got all that rough pilling on it. I don't know if you can see, but you know, this is, this is had its day. I've loved these joggers. Um, worn them masses and masses and I'm not even going to wear them for housework now or for you know around the house or well, I might actually I might relegate these to housework trousers that may well be an answer so there you go anything that's got pilling on don't wear it out the house don't wear it out not even to Sainsbury's not even to the supermarket keep it for your gardening keep it for your housework there that's the answer to that one fit they might have fit when you both bought it in the first place it might have fit you and maybe it never fitted you. But if it doesn't fit you, if it's either too big or too small, it's just going to look cheap, not flattering. If it's not flattering, it's going to look cheap on you. So let's take this jumper I bought from Banana Republic years ago. I, it sort of fitted me, but still, I don't think even when I first bought it and was wearing it, it really fitted me properly. But now you can see on the shoulders, it really, really doesn't fit me. This is said jumper or sweater. But I loved it, you know, I love the colour, I love the stripes on it and so on. But this, nothing wrong with it, it's got no pilling on it, it's not damaged, so this would be suitable for going to charity. So I'm going to say, thank you, you are now too small for me, you're going to charity. Not even for housework, because there's no point, if it's too small, it's going to be uncomfortable. So, no. Too big. Well, I bought these trousers at a country fair, I mean, we do that, don't we? We... We see things and think, oh yeah, you know, that's a reasonable price, that's interesting, you can't see that, you don't see that in a general shop, this is sort of a boutique-y item. Um, you know, very, very wide, culotte type trousers, but my goodness, are they flattering on me? Absolutely not. I will not be seen outside the house in these whatsoever anymore. I saw a photo of myself and I accidentally have deleted it, so I can't show you, but I was out walking the dogs in the summer and I thought, no way, just no. So these may fit somebody else, somebody taller, somebody um, with a larger frame than me may look great in these. I can't pull them off. So these are going to go to charity. Next up is seam misalignment. So when you're shopping, I'm not going to say to you, if something has a seam misaligned, throw it out. If you love it, absolutely fine. You may now be conscious of it, but you can wear a jacket over the top to hide the seams. However, if you are shopping, you may want to actually just look at that. So here's a t-shirt I bought from Loft. There are a few reasons why I'm actually going to donate this. There's nothing wrong with the quality of it. It's not got holes or anything like that in it, but I'm donating it to charity. But you can see what I mean. There's a seam here, down there, and the flowers aren't lining up. You can see there, there's a good example here. The flowers aren't lining up on the seam. So that's the sort of thing that I, that's the sort of thing I would now look for when I'm actually in a shop uh, buying clothes. However, if that was the only thing wrong with it, I wouldn't be throwing this out. I actually think this print is just too, too big for me. Um, I bought it because I love the colours in it and it, the colours have sort of suited, suited me and sort of appealed. But I've had it a few years and the print is just not right for me. Um, I did mention in a video recently that you could just hide that with a jacket or a cardigan if you really loved it. I don't love this enough now, so I've got lots of use out of you, but you're going. Another example of a seam misalignment is a maxi dress I've got here. See there, you see the flat, the floral design just doesn't, doesn't meet up on the seam. The seam is here. Again, that's not the sole reason I'm getting rid of it. It, um, it's just a dress that I just don't reach for anymore. So although the seam misalignment makes it look cheap, no one's going to really notice that greatly, I don't think, you know, when I'm wearing the dress, but it's just a dress that I don't reach for. I don't need this in my life, so it's gonna to go to charity. But it's the sort of thing to look out for when you're shopping for something that actually might cheapen your clothes. Next up, and this is a really big pet hate of mine, big armholes. 
You know those um, camis and vest tops, you know, where the, the armhole is just big and it's showing your underarm, it's showing your bra, it's showing, you know, and then you can, you're gaping in here. That, that, that. Always, always. I mean, I haven't got many examples to show you because I don't buy them. I always look out for that. Do not buy because that really, if, if people can see your underwear through your clothes, through your armpit, and you're bending forward and you can see everything and you can see your tummy as well, maybe your tummy rolls too, because some of those sleeves are so big. If you're bending forwards, you're giving one, people a wonderful view of not only your chest, but also all those tummy rolls as you're bending down. I mean, you know, your white tummy, the, uh, the all the crevices and the, the mountains that it's rolling into. No. Just know. So I haven't got much in the way of examples, but you know what I mean. And I have actually got a story of some, it's a story time here, story of somebody who um, I went to lunch at their house and he didn't particularly, the, the wife really liked me, the, the husband didn't particularly like me. I don't know, he just thought I was a bit up myself actually. You might think I'm up myself, but he thought I was up myself. And um, he, <laughs> so he came down to lunch in a really um, loose vest for Sunday roast. And his chest hair was out and his arm hair was out and you could just see feel like i felt like sweat and the hairs were just dripping all over the food i mean it was and i was at the house i can't say anything so yeah maybe i was up myself that day maybe i was that was afterwards but i think i had good reason but i kept quiet i, kept, I did not say anything but he did it on purpose i'm sure he did on purpose because would you really do that and think it's okay Maybe you did. Anyway, right, back to the point, back to the point. So big armpits, no. Here's one I've mentioned before, heavy material. And some materials called a jersey that you sometimes see on TV shopping channels, they're a very heavy jersey, especially if they've come from the States. And in the, in the, if you're watching from the States, you probably know what I'm talking about. It weighs, it's, it's, it's just, you know, you wouldn't pack it in a suitcase because it would just take up so much weight. But it's so heavy, it then clings at places it shouldn't cling to, doesn't skim your body, it just drags everything down, everything down because of the gravity, the gravity of this item. And I'm talking physics here, I'm talking about not gravity of the, the seriousness, I'm talking gravity of the weight of the item pulls the item right down so it's not hanging on you in a fluttering way. This dress, I mean, the, the pattern, goodness knows why. Why did I buy this? But I, I did wear it a few times. I now know better, I do. I, I, I wore it with a belt to make sure it actually, I put a leather belt around it to um, help the, the weight of it and sort of zhuzh it up a bit and give it a bit more shape. But without a belt, totally, absolutely shapeless, as you can see. And you can see how it's dragging down my neck. It's not forming a nice, um, a short V, it's pulling down and it's not forming a shape around my waist because it's not allowing itself, the material's not allowing itself to actually cling to my waist in any way and just pulling straight down over my hips and down. So no, that's going to go to, um, well, I mean, somebody might make use of it. So I will put it to charity because there's actually nothing wrong with it. And if the charity shop can't sell it, what they'll do is recycle the material, which is fair enough. A very cheap look in an item in a garment is where the lining on the inside of the material i don't mean a layer of lining i mean the, the inside of the outer material is different from the outer material here's a good example so this is a knitted machine knitted cardigan um the pattern's probably a bit too busy for me now but look the inside of that is white and it's not a, an extra layer it that because you can't, if you're wearing that, you can't hide that. At the neckline, that is going to show. It's going to show when it's slightly open. So um, it's going it, to, that will look cheap. That will look cheap. You know, if you've got a cardigan that's one colour on the inside, it needs to be that same colour on the out, sorry. If you've got a cardigan on the outside that's one colour, you've got to have the same colour on the inside to look classy. So look out for that. If you've got any items like that in your wardrobe, donate them because they just, they're going to cheapen, when you wear them, they will cheapen your outfit or wear it for housework. So this might go to my housework gardening pile. 
clingy, stretchy clingy, stretchy clingy in the wrong way. So this is a top. I've, I've shown it to you before and I kept it for um, housework. I have never worn it for housework, so I'm gonna, I am going to donate it because there's actually nothing wrong with it in its um, repair. You know, there's no, no, um, no quality issue. It's, it's a case of it is just too clingy for me. And when it's clingy, especially without a pan, pattern, without a pattern and without um, a thick material, it's quite thin, this stretchy, clean material just, I don't, I feel, you know, it's just too, too revealing. It's not flattering in any way, is it? It's not flattering. So that too, anything too stretchy that has not got a pattern, you can't get away with, it's going to look a bit see-through, it's going to stretch right across your hips, stretch across your chest, stretch across your upper arms maybe. Think about that. Get rid of it. Bold patterns. I mean, here we go. We're starting to get into the realm of um, incredulity, incredu really. Why on earth? But still, yeah. Look, I mean, do I need to say more? I'm too old for that. Not only that, but it's also got the frilly sleeves. Now, I don't mind frilly sleeves whatsoever, but frilly sleeves and a bold, bold pattern, big pattern like that, that is aging. And I think if it's aging on someone my age, it's going to look cheap as well. So that has to go. Another example, my goodness, yes, talk about incredulity. This is actually was just for covering up beachwear on holiday. I'm ashamed to show my face. But to be honest, really, if you're thinking about wearing it just for holiday, covering up beach work, wear it, it was great. You know, it might have had big armpits, that doesn't matter, I was wearing a bikini underneath, or a swimming costume underneath. And you know, when you go to these resorts and some of these places, they, they, they're big, broad, the sunshine's bright, you know, there's lots of colour around, colour in the plants and the trees and the grass is green and the pool is blue and the sea's blue and that kind of thing, you know. I think it worked for a little while, but it's not now, not my age now. So big, bold colours, even for a, in a pattern like that, in a pattern, in a big pattern, especially floral. At my age, now, no, in my 40s maybe that was okay, but not now, not now, now I'm 60, no. So when we're talking about big, bold patterns as well, think about your shoes, have you got any? I mean, have you got any like that? Look, it's just too much, isn't it? These are Steve Madden as well. I would have, I know, I would have expected better from Steve Madden. But uh, not for me. I mean, they may well be for someone else, so they will go to charity. But they're, they're not for me. And I love, I love animal print. I feel that's just a bit too much. That's too much. Talking of which, right, coming up is a real, real humdinger. This really will make you look cheap. Too much pattern, too much embellishment, too much colour, all in one place. So I'll show you what I mean. I've got two items here in my hands. Now, which do I show you first? Okay, okay, let's go for shoes. Another pair of shoes. Why? Why did I buy these? I think I thought they, on, you know, on the screen, on the picture, they looked a lot more subtle than they were. But the reality is when they came, not only are they snake print all over, which it was, they would have been doable, but the silver glitter as well. And the tassels, there's all in one place. An animal print, snake print, subtle, not like the ones I showed just, not like Steve Madden ones, but would have been okay. But with the silver glitter and with that tassel on, no. Very cheap looking. What I'll do, I'll list down below some alternatives. How, how, you know, how, how you should, or some alternatives to actually look classy rather than uh, a cheap. You, you, want, you want what to get rather than just what to throw out, don't you? So, you know, I'll put that down below. But here's another example. I bought three dresses, um, all very similar. It's one of these QVC offers, but uh, one of them, now, I did wear this. I wore it on holiday, never wore it in the UK. I wore it at a resort, as we talked about resorts being sort of bright and airy and colourful and uh, people maybe wearing things they would never wear at home. This is an example of something I'd never wear at home. So, but, but I thought the colours would be great for a summer holiday. 
But look, it's also got this embellishment on the front here, which brings in the waist. So that's actually quite a good, so it's actually quite a good shape but it's just too much, it is too much in one place, especially for a 60 year old woman. Now I got this in my very early 50s and I have worn it, but for now, it's gonna to go to charity. Nothing wrong with it um, from a uh, product perspective, no holes, no tears. So it's suitable for somebody else to buy. But an example of that same dress in something that's almost acceptable and I can just get about get away with, is that same dress in a blue and white and it's got some embellishment on there but the pattern's a lot more subtle there's only two colors here it's a more subtle design it's a small print and i have worn this for work in the summer going to events if i'm going to sort of like a cocktail party in the summer with a navy blazer or an ivory white blazer over the top and it looks perfectly it looked perfectly fine for a business casual with a blazer got away with that and I could wear it in you know going out to dinner in the summer in the UK I'm perfectly happy wearing that I'm not too bothered but that doesn't look too blingy that embellishment there so I'm keeping that I'm just showing it you as an example so I'm going to keep that dress because you know I may still get some wear out of that one plastic plastic jewelry got some earrings here clearly a bit plasticky plasticky bracelet here no, I don't need these anymore. I don't need these plasticky sounding big, bold plastic bits of jewellery. But another piece of jewellery, I mean, some of you may have got this, but years ago, these were very popular, these stretchy thing, necklaces. And people would bring them back from holiday, and I think I bought mine abroad, and then they started selling them in the UK as well. And you, you, twi you put it around your neck, and you twisted it, and you made sort of a shape. You, you did odd things with it, you know? People aren't wearing those anymore. I haven't seen that for years. So if you've got one of these, probably time to get, just get rid of it because it's just taking up space because you probably won't wear it now because that is going to look out of date and that will look cheap. An obvious copy handbag. It is not, it looks, it's pretty design, but people in the know where you don't want to look cheap, you want to look classy, people in the know there are going to know this is just a copy. So any copy handbags that you don't use from a practical perspective, and you've got it because you think that actually you know, that's going to look classy. It doesn't look classy. It looks the opposite. So just go for good quality, classic handbag that doesn't need to be a label, doesn't need to be a name. Don't try to get something that is a clear, cheap, unlabeled copy. Oh, no, alternative also, I, I do like the Teddy Blake bags, but they, you know, they've got their own name on. They, they clearly say Teddy Blake. It's a good quality, classic bag. And, you know, you could say it, it, it has resemblances to other brands, but it doesn't look cheap. It looks quality. And it's not pretending to be something it's not. It's got its own label on it. So go for something classic and classy. Not something that's trying to be what it isn't. And bags with such like gimmicky logos, you know, this is like a beach bag. I'm not going to go around with a bag that says out of office. It's just a bit too corny and that is going to look cheap. I'd rather have a bag like this with nothing written on it. Nothing written on it. So that has been a run through of what I think I have in my wardrobe and you may have in yours that would cheapen my outfit.